And today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak a 3.0 iPod Touch 2G with 3.0 software. And right here I will show you that I do have the 3.0 software. See, it's jailbroken. I'm going to go into settings, <coughs> general, uh, about 3.0 right there. Now there's only one program for this right now, and that is Red Snow 7.2. There. So once you download them, you will get this and this. Uh, to get this, you're gonna have to click iPod Touch 2G. Oh, sorry. Uh, iPod Touch 2G, and just drag this to your desktop. After you're done with that, you don't really need to worry about that. Open up Red Snow. Oh, and uh, right now, just uh, plug in your iPod. Uh, then you're gonna go Red Snow again, and Red Snow the application. Run the file, <coughs> and give it'll give you a warning. Could not be verified. Uh, run. So you get this. Um, you need to find the current firmware. So press Browse, and then it should be on your desktop. And there it is, right there. Open. And now it's processing the firmware, so you're going to have to just wait here for a second. Uh, uh, here we go. IPSW successfully identified. Click Next. Connecting to server. Free jailbreak data. I'm just going to move this over here. There we go. Now, uh, Click in uh, City on Cydia only because then uh, if you install IC, Cydia won't work. That's what happened to me, and I get really pissed off. Click next. <coughs> so it says click next only when your device is off and plugged in. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn mine off. Turning off. There we go. Now I click next, and the next part you'll have to put it in DFE mode. So I know how to do this. I'm just going to do this by myself because I already know how to do this. Okay, well, that didn't work. Oh, wait, yeah, there we go. Now your screen should be white, and that should, like, spaz out, I think. I think I'm pretty sure it, uh, it like, yeah, there we go. It, like, turns on and off. And then right there, it's just uploading all that crap. And then you'll get a picture like this, <coughs> and your iPod is being jailbroken with the 3.0 software. So. Yeah, so. Okay. So after, this might take, I don't know if it takes a while, doesn't, still has the uh, image on that. So. Done, aha, done. Now click finish and you see the little loading thing right there. Okay, close that. After, you can just, all you need is your iPad here. You don't need your computer at all anymore. <coughs> so now it is just jailbreaking. And uh, I'll be right back when this finishes. Alright guys, I'm back. And there will be a running pineapple. And it's... <laughs> <laughs> So it's loading right now, it's just loading, flashing, <laughs> NOR. So, <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, this is, no, it's just loading. Okay, so, now it's just loading, and then after this, it should be jailbroken. So, it's on the bundles. Cydia. And then, uh, once you go into Cydia for the first time, it'll, like, it'll have to, like, quit just to, like, do some st crap, and then you can go right back in. You're gonna have to upgrade and some stuff. Rebooting. Oh, money. This is it. 
<clears throat> so you're gonna have to like uh, just do some stuff. So uh, after this reboots, we I will show to you that we are on 3.0 and that is Cydia and that does work. So thank you for the dev team. Great job. That's loading. <coughs> Don't want you to see my password, you know. Oh, and it is jailbroken. Uh, still have the same thing. Pretty much have the same thing as last time. It won't do anything if this is your second time. So, first it will ask you to upgrade some stuff. I'll just upgrade it. Um, if, if Icy is there, don't, uh, if I see is there, don't worry about it. That happened to me. Like there's I see there, but it, uh, but it still worked. Yeah, it's not here for me. But if it is there, it doesn't really matter. Um, Cydia will have upgrades that you will have to, or you can't download any packages. So that's pretty much it. This is RBC app at Hope. Rate, comment, and press the L button that says subscribe. Thanks.